This time I am making this bat wind spinner. This one was my first try, so I'm attempting to make another. I'm using DK yarn, stuffing, scissors, yarn needle, stitch marker, 9mm eyes and 3.5mm hook. I start with head, which is magic circle and 8 single crochets. And I got this pattern from YouTube and the pattern creator is Crafty Crochet Castle and link will be added in description. I usually insert hook in a first stitch before closing circle so I don't have to force it but this time I don't know why. I decided to close first and then try to get in the first stitch. But anyway, finally got it through and next round is increase in every stitch. Now for the round 3 is one single crochet, one increase, all the way around. Round 4 to 8 is single crochet in each stitch. Round 9 is one single crochet and one decrease all the way around. And then I'm turning inside out to work in magic circle tail, so it's not opening. Then turn back and it's time to insert the eyes. Eyes goes between rounds 4 and 5 and 3 stitches apart. I placed the second eye and it looked way too close to each other. Obviously I can't count till 3 because they're just two stitches apart. So I moved one stitch further and it looks way better. So next I put the backings on. And so far it looks like this. And then off camera I embroider nose don't really know if that was necessary, but for the last round for the head is round 10, decrease 8 times. And I decided to stuff after decrease, but you can stuff before this round. And decrease happens in the front loops only, forgot to mention. Then fasten off 
and leave a little bit of tail. Next, I'm trying to attach the hanging part. And I think I have to work on that a little bit more because I have no idea what I'm doing. For the black one, I made a chain and then attached to the head. This one, I'm just trying to make a knot and then get through the center of the head. Then I skip the stitch and I pull yarn back to the inside, making a loop. But then again, it's a spinner and loop. It won't really spin very much. I told you, I have no idea what I'm doing. But enjoy watching my struggles. I will figure it out eventually. When I was happy, more or less, with what I have created, it's time to stuff. Stuffing I need only for the head, so not too much. When that's done, I can finally close the circle. With a yarn needle, go around the outside loops and pull the yarn to close it. Then secure the yarn end and work in the tail. And the head finally is complete. Next, I will make ears. Round one is magic circle and four single crochets. Round two is one single crochet and one increase, two times around. Round three, the same, one single crochet, one increase, but three times around. Round four is two single crochets and one increase three times around and I decided to put stitch marker because I can easily lose count. Then round five and six a single crochet in each stitch. Then fasten off and leave tail for sewing. And then again, I just worked in magic circle tail. One ear is done. And now I have to make another. And magically both ears complete. 
To make wings, row 1 is chain 15, then in second chain from the hook, 5 single crochets. Then decrease two times. And five single crochets. So far it looks like this. Row two, chain one, turn your work. Skip first, then three single crochets. Decrease two times. Three single crochets. And slip stitch in the last. Row three is chain one, turn your work. Skip one, one slip stitch in the next. One single crochet, two times decrease. single crochet in next and two slip stitches row four chain one turn your work skip one slip stitch in next in next stitch one single crochet one half double crochet and one single crochet in next slip stitch In next, single crochet, half double crochet, and single crochet. And then two slip stitches. Fasten off and leave tail. And I made second ring of camera. Now I have all top parts ready and it's time to put them together. I start by weaving the end tail from the wing to the other side. So the both tails are on one side. I will start with the ears and I attach them on each side of magic circle. When that's done, it looks like this. Then next thing is to attach the wings. The wings go right under the ear. Now wings are attached as well. So the last thing is the spinner itself. And to do that, row one is chain 31. Then from the second chain from the hook, single crochet in each stitch all the way back. Row two is chain one, turn your work and two single crochets in each stitch all the way back. It 
it's starting to curl already. And for the last row, row three is chain two and two half double crochets in each stitch all the way back. Then fast enough and leave tail for sewing. Then stitch it on under the head, closer to the wing. And wind spinner is done. I'm not so happy about the loop on the top for hanging, but it will do for now. I was looking at it and I noticed that something is missing, which is mouth. So the very last thing to do is to embroider mouth. I didn't want just a simple line, so I decided to make little teeth as well. Then make double knot with the ends and work in the tail. And now finally he is done. Isn't he cute? Hope you liked this video and thank you very much for watching and supporting me. Bye!